Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Samaya Marie, aka Maya, and today I'm back with another video. I'm here to let the babes know that if y'all didn't know, Sheen is a buy one, get one free right now for their wigs starting October 23rd. Okay, y'all, let's get into the unboxing of the wig. Look at this packaging. Look at this packaging. Can y'all see like the little people on there? So it has like the Sheen wig. First of all, it has like Sheen label. And then it has Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. So it has like all their like um, socials on here. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I'm so geeked right now. Can y'all see that? Look out. This is about to eat. Let's get to the goodies they sent us. So in a the box, they got two-piece wig caps let's see it also has a user's guide like install like what the wig cap is for and like the wig um it also teaches you how to like wash the hair but we don't need that i you know i don't ever keep that y'all and like a thank you card or something i don't know so this is what the hair is looking like inside of the net dang look how big this net is. <laughs> keep y'all nets uh keep this right here First of all, look at that high quality. It come with a whole tag on a wig. I ain't never seen nothing like that before, y'all. We already off to a good start. Okay, y'all. So it has look how thick the hair is. It's super soft. So it's not really defined right now, but just how look how like even though it's not super defined, look how defined it can be. Like y'all see them curls in there that's like already defined. Cool. That. let's get into the lace so as you can see i don't know if i'm tripping but it already looks like it's kind of pre-plucked don't it like this was giving pre-plucked a little bit already this wig is sheen's transparent uh lace curly wig um curly wave wig i'm sorry and this is i believe a 13 by 6 lace this is 24 inches it is also a 180 percent density so y'all know usually it's like 150 but you know bumped it up a little bit so that it can be like thicker y'all this is going to eat so as y'all can see look at all that part of space right there so it's not the full thing, like as you can see, like kind of like by the sides, it doesn't have like, you know, all the way around it, but it does, it is kind of true to size, I guess you could say, like, look at that. All that parting space right there is, that's definitely six inches of parting space. Um, it also has multiple combs in there. So as y'all can see, it has, I think about four combs in there. Yeah, so it has four combs in there to secure it. It also has these adjustable um, straps in there so that you can also like, you know, make sure it's fitting more to your head. Okay, babes, time to customize this sheen wig. So you already know when we customize on a wig, we got to bleach the knots. Now I'm going in with some BW2 powder and some 50 developer. Um, so I used two scoops of this bw2 powder and as y'all know i just be eyeing the developer okay i just you know put enough in there to it looks like a little um like a toothpaste consistency right so i'll just slowly thoroughly mix it until i feel like it's the consistency that i want it to be and after i get it to the consistency i want which is a nice thick consistency it's not gonna be rainy nothing like that so it's just like toothpaste um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that wig and we're gonna flip it inside out so that we can start bleaching these knots So when I'm bleaching the knots, I like to start from the back and work my way to the front As you can see, I'm making sure to get the edges. I'm making sure to get every nook and cranny every fold I'm pressing in that product so that the bleach can not only bleach the bottom of the knots but also just like the top now um as you can see, I'm also making sure to get all the way, just all the lace. Just just put the product on the entire lace and trust me, you you don't thank me later. 
So after letting that sit for about 20 minutes, I came back, checked on it, you know, scratched it to see if it was a little bronze looking, a little brassy. And, you know, behold, brassy. So perfect. So we're going to go ahead and rinse that off. Now, usually I do go in with some purple shampoo, but your girl ran out or maybe I just can't find it. I don't know. So we're going to skip that part because I'm yellow anyway. And we just going to get into washing the wig, y'all. So the shampoo that I'm going to be using after thoroughly, thoroughly rinsing out that bleach. It's going to be that V05 Extra Body Volumizing Shampoo, guys. So as you can see, I'm going in with that uh, first wash and when I'm washing, I'm going to take this time to really detangle the hair and get out all those extra naps. So I'm going in with my detangling brush, working my way from um, the bottom of the hair, working my way up to the roots. And that makes it easier for, you know, all the dirt and all the chemicals, if there is any, all that stuff to just be washed away, you know, and this is our first time for detangling the hair. Then I'm going in with my second wash. That's to really make sure that we get all that residue from that bleach out of there. Because trust me, guys, if y'all have a residue in there after y'all wash and blow dry this wig, I'm telling you, it's going to be the worst residue ever. So after washing it about a good two to three times, um, we're going to deep condition because, you know, that wig going to be crunchy and dry if you do not deep condition, guys. So I go in with some silicone mix and I go in with some Adore uh 10 that's the crystal clear one that's gonna give it that shine so it's gonna give celebrity stylists so um if you don't believe me check my instagram so i got the credentials <laughs> so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that on there that's me wringing out all the extra water because that wig was thirsty so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put that on there um brush it through look how juicy it is look how juicy the curls is so after applying that mixture, I'm gonna let that sit um, for about 10 to 15 minutes and that's just enough time for us to do our ball cap. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all my little ball cap method. I'm using an HD um, wig cap. And after I push my edges back, cause you know I don't wanna lose my edges, I'm going in with some um, ghost bond. I'm just going in with one thin layer. Um, I'm using a Q-tip to spread the glue out. Um, usually it's longer, but I broke it right before I cut the camera on, so don't mind that. Um, it takes about probably like five, it's like five, yeah, five minutes for that glue to dry. After the glue dries completely, or at least for the most part, um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tabs for, I mean the holes for our ears. And as you can see my wig cap was already ripped, <laughs> but it don't matter. So after I cut the uh, ear holes, I'm going to start off from one of the ear holes and I'm going to start cutting the excess um, off my wig cap. And as you can see, the method is uh, pull and cut, pull and cut. Like I always say, you can get the cleanest cut that way, right? So after you get that excess off, don't cut it, don't do nothing. Just pull it back over your head like a headband. It's going to secure the back. Then I'm going in with some Ruby Kisses. Um, this is liquid foundation. I'm going with that lighter shade and I'm just gonna go to work. Okay, I'm gonna go to town on that uh, wig cap so we can tint it and bam. That's what I call a ball cap, giving Caillou, giving bald. Okay, so this is what it should look like, seamless. Now to go in with the actual installation of this sheen wig, guys. So. Um, as you can see, I already had my layers of glue on there. I did three layers of that ghost bond after uh, cleaning it up with some more alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And uh, after letting those layers dry completely and they turn clear, we're going to be combing in that lace. So as you can see, I'm just fitting the wig to my forehead and putting the hairline where it needs to be. And I comb it in once I have it all figured out, I guess. Then, as you can see, I'm going to go in with my scissors and I'm going to be cutting the excess um, off like the ears. So, as you can see, because you need to be able to tuck it behind your ear, baby. Because if you can't tuck it behind your ear, then you wouldn't do it right. So, after I had did my ear tabs, I went ahead and just put my wig band on. Um, I can't say how long I had that wig band on. Probably for like 30 minutes or something like that. Um, because I just keep it on as long as I'm styling my hair. So as you can see, I'm going in to define the curls so they're, they're easier to manage because y'all see this head full of hair. This wig was so thick. So 
what I did was I went in with some styling mousse and with my detangler brush and went to work. Um, but however, comma, you'll see later on in the video that that was just not enough. So I'm going to say this now because I didn't record it. I went in with uh, not only uh, some mousse, but I went in with some conditioner and I also went in with some eco styling gel. So it was basically like, you know, I was styling my real hair or something, but I wasn't. Look at that. Look at that. It's giving. So when I go in with my hot comb, I like to go in with some uh, a wax stick and I like to also go in with um, some styling mousse. And I comb that in, I make sure I really get those roots and then once I comb in all that, you know, product, you know, the front of the hairline and the middle part, going to make sure we get that hot comb. Don't mind my hot comb. If you're wondering why I got that thing on, my hot comb's broken, guys. And I'm not going to buy a new one. So, yeah. But I'm going to get the roots flat. And look how sleek that is. Look at that. Look at it. Okay, I'm watching my show. Don't mind me looking at my show. But look at look at the the roots. Look at that. It looks like I plucked it to the T. And we didn't pluck not one thing. We didn't pluck not one thing, guys. Look at that. Look at that. I grew that out of my scalp. Baby, that's my hair. So after going ahead and going in with that high comb, we're going to cut the excess lace off of our forehead. So as you can see, I cut it into like four tabs and the same method I use to cut my wig cap, same method I use to cut my lace, pull and cut. And look how seamless that is, y'all, because it's been a while since I done glued down a wig, y'all. Look at this. Look at that. I'm nearly cutting my own forehead. Be careful, y'all, when y'all do this step. If y'all cut yourself, it's not my fault because I said be careful. Now, after you done did that, what you're going to do is you're going to go with some, um, I want to say powder, powder makeup. I'll go in with some eyeshadow because it just so happened to be like the same color as me. <laughs> and I put it on my lace to tint it and then afterwards i go in with some gossipy glue spray you can use either even spray or spritz and just you know something just to you know wet the lace and you just go on, you see i'm using the end of my comb and kind of like you know pressing it in baby it's like i'm just rubbing my forehead look at that look at that melt okay that's the melt of a real professional so then, uh, as you can see, this is after the hair dried with just the mousse. So as y'all could see, the hair was beautiful. This hair was gorgeous, but it wasn't as defined as I had wanted to be. This is giving more of a like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It just wasn't defined enough. Like mousse alone wasn't enough. And I learned that the hard way. So as you can see, I'm going in with that Eco Styling Gel. Um, I, usually, I didn't really put any water because i knew water is going to make it look wet but once it dries it's not going to do anything so as you can see i'm just going in with some watered down eco styling gel <laughs> and you know putting that on um the top of my hair kind of like the crown area and i'm raking it through i'm brushing it through with my detangling brush just all of the above and like I said, I didn't show myself putting the conditioner on there, but just know that the conditioner also helped. And I also went in with a top coat of uh, oil sheen just to really, you know, I guess lock in all the stuff that we put in there and to give it that, you know, shiny top coat. And y'all, this is what it looked like after, you know, letting it dry out a little bit more. And yeah, that's how it looks like when it was dry, no edges. So I want to try to know edges look to see how I was feeling it. But I thought it'd be cute with edges, guys. So after this, y'all going to see what it looked like when I did my fluffy baby hairs. And y'all, this is the final look, guys. This is the outcome with the fluffy baby hairs. Um, the wet look. And look at that. And this is a Sheen wig, y'all. Sheen did that big one with this one. They really ate that. And we ate that. And you can look like this too. Link to the hair be in the description box below. And give this video a thumbs up to help your girl out. Hey guys. Okay. So I did my baby hairs. As y'all can see, they is super soft. They kind of like sticking up a little bit right now. But once I wrap my hair up to go to bed, um, they gonna lay down overnight. But for the most part though, like 
they're still very very soft even laying them down as you can see very soft um but you guys look at the finished outcome look at it look at the definition look at the shine guys look at that mind you the wig is from sheen y'all who would have guessed who would have known that the wigs from sheen are actually bomb like this hair is bomb look at that oh yes and i forgot to add um i did add uh on top of the gel um i also added conditioner to the hair because it's curly and I also added a little bit of oil sheen to like the top, you know, layer of the hair so that it can remain shiny even when it's dry. Because right now it's damp, but it's mainly dry. Like as you can see, my hands probably look a little oily. That's what that is. Well, actually, they don't look that oily. They're actually still kind of dry. But just a little bit of oil sheen to make sure that it stayed shiny. So the curls look nice and juicy. But y'all... First of all, I ate with this install. To think that we didn't even really have to pluck the wig, like, that's the win on itself. Anywho, that leads me to the end of this video. I will be closing out, of course. I guess, like as always, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. That lets me know that you like the content that I am putting out for you guys. Two, make sure you hit the subscribe button, okay? That's going to, you know, help you grow out, grow in a community, go ahead and join the babes. And then three, um last but not least be sure to hit that bell button that's important that lets you know when i'm about to post a video i mean not about to post a video i mean that lets you know when i do post a video that way you can be notified on time whenever a new video drops so that when i drop a banger like this you can also look like this <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next video bye babes Mwah.